So hello and welcome back and in this video I want to show you how to configure a WIM and for that we want to go into config and then WIM and we want to edit our init um, WIM script or file and right now it looks like this and I have actually decided to not source um, this in anymore because um, if I list the plugins right here I can just write everything in one file and can share it with you so you can just copy the whole file into the right location and be done. So let's um, get our plugins that we need. And then we need to specify our plugin directory, hello, which was this one. And <coughs> I only need two plugins so far with wa which was the code completion plugin and also um, I want to have a, a linter that shows us some error codes right when we type it and I found Syntastic to look worth trying out um, yeah, I think we don't even need to specify anything here. I'm not sure if there is a release branch here, so that should be enough. Then what we want to use is we want to be able to write um, Unicode, so we need to set the encoding to UTF-8. Then also the files that will be saved should also be Unicode encoded. Then we also want to have syntax highlighting then when we create a split vertically we want to um, split to, uh, we want to make the new window appear below and also when we create um, one horizontally we want to make it here on the right then we also want to enable numbers um, line numbers then we want to have our our tabs be two spaces um, be the width of two spaces. Um, this option gets recommended by um, COC and also another the next one. And also we want to have faster refreshing editor. So we <coughs> turn down the um, timeout length and also the update time, which is in milliseconds. Also. This should be also two. Um, then we want to also have smart indentation because, well, that helps us when we code. And also auto indentation. Also, we want to set the clipboard to an unnamed buffer um, that allows us to, to use the system clipboard more easily. Also, we, we want to have a ruler to indicate where we are at. Swap file. We don't want to create a swap file. We also want to search incrementally and also, of course, want to highlight our search results and also want to disable sounds when there is an error so it doesn't make this beep sounds. And also, we want to automatically load tags from our current directory. The tags file should automatically be loaded if there is one. Then we want to also configure the Syntactic um, plugin, um, Syntastic plugin, I mean. And we need to tell it which compiler to use, and we are using Clang. And we also need to um, let Syntastic know uh, which language um, and which standard we are using. So for us, we are using C++20. At least I'm planning to use that. And then, of course, we had our IMAP, which is J, to wait, J for escape. So it's easier to um, get out of insert mode. Then we also want an easy way to um, get into the next entry of our fix list <coughs> and also to our previous entry in the fix list and 
that should already cover it for a basic setup. So, and looks like we have it working now. So I will update um, my images um, on GitHub and then you can just paste it and have the same setup as me. And yeah, see you in the next video.